Καλησπέρα σε όλους. Στο πλαίσιο της ενημερωτικής επίσκεψης In the framework of the visit of the delegation which has been invited by our European Member of Parliament, we are organizing a press conference here today. Η αυτοδιοίκηση στον καιρό τη κρίση. Η ομάδα ε, βρίσκεται αυτή τη στιγμή για, α, τη, 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 για τρίτη συνεχή μέρα ε, στο Στρασβούργο, έχοντα ήδη συναντήσει εκπροσώπους των εργαζομένων τη Μητραπολιτική Περιοχή του Στρασβούργου, έχοντα παρακολουθήσει τι συνεδρίες τη πολιτική ομάδα Ευρωπαϊκή Αριστερά χτε, όπου πραγματοποιήθηκε και παρέμβαση του Προέδρου τη ΠΟΕΟΤΑ, κ. Μπαλασόπουλου. Έχει παρακολουθήσει ήδη Ολομέλεια, ένα, ένα α, τμήμα της Ολομέλειας χρονικό της σημερινή συνεδρίασης, καθώς και μια παρουσίαση των α, ευρωπαϊκών θεσμικών οργάνων από την... So there are uh, certain uh, institutional bodies in the DGCOM that are helping with this, so I won't add anything further to uh, this. Uh, I will give the floor to Mrs. Sakurafa now so that she can give us the introduction to this press conference. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us here today and coming to our press conference. And thank you on behalf of the workers who have taken the trouble to come all the way from Greece and who are going to talk about the problems uh, that workers are experiencing in Greece at the moment. Many uh, people have said uh, that due to the new liberal measures, uh, we'll see democracy being uh, suppress suppressed. Uh, the people are being faced with uh, propaganda, uh, saying that they have to uh, suppress their own democratic interests. Uh, in uh, Greece, uh, we're seeing uh, the bankers on the rise, we're seeing a lack of justice. Either we're seeing governance uh, through decrees by the Prime Minister or the President, or so we have thousands of documents adopted in one day, uh, and these were adopted by lawyers outside of, uh, drawn up by lawyers outside of Greece, and they've only just been received by the Parliament. Foreign means are being uh, used, uh, a sort of terrorism. We uh, had the Grexit uh, phenomenon that had a very negative impact on the country and reduced our labour capacity. Up until now, uh, we had uh, local authorities of the first and second degree that were most affected. They were those who were most in contact with the citizens. It's for this reason that they were opposed to uh, this policy of austerity that came from the memorandum that was agreed. They uh, then were targeted by all these measures, so that's why we chose the title of the meeting uh, today. Uh, local workers' associations uh, from the local government in Greece uh, targeted victims of the crisis spiral. So we are seeing these authorities uh, targeted and the services they're providing being reduced, and this is destroying the social fabric. The workers and the trade unions uh, saw this from the very beginning. Despite uh, the fact that they support in the large majority the two large parties, they are fighting against this. They are going out into the streets and to defend the right to a dignified job and also uh, with the local and territorial authorities who are meant to be at the service of the citizens. We have a representative of the uh, workers uh, from the Local Workers Association here, and I'd like to give the floor to the president of the foundation now so he can tell us a little bit more. 
we would like to thank Sophia Sakurafa for having invited us here today. We think uh, for us this is a very important visit. It's not we're not just here to be tourists. For a long time now, we haven't had any information from Europe on the worker side. There hasn't really been any joint action. Looking at the situation in Greece over the last three or four years, we can see this being replicated in other countries in the EU. So I would really like to thank you because of this visit and the interactions that we've had. I think we have uh, helped contribute something to the effort to uh, make Europe realize what we're facing in our country and elsewhere. In my country, we are in a situation where the bank debts uh, were mutualized and then the profits privatized. So everything belongs to them. Everything comes to uh, comes back to them, uh, and nobody uh, holds any accountability over these banks. We have a massive rate of unemployment. It's really unimaginable. There's poverty and widespread misery. We have workers, uh, people who are retired. When we're talking about the whole of a society uh, which is facing an impasse here. We simply don't know how to get away from these policies. We need to fight together to try and overturn these policies, and that goes for local and territorial authorities. We are most in contact with citizens, with people on the street. They don't know who to turn to in the midst of this economic crisis. It's not just an economic crisis, but a social crisis as well. We see a lot of representatives from local administration and regional administration who are doing a lot, but the reason we're in this situation is because of a policy that was uh, put in place uh, and, and we were guinea pigs in all of this and that's not a situation uh, that we should uh, expect except it's not just about a reduction in revenue and uh, resources or uh, a loss of services the fact is that this policy just keeps on going and going and we have seen this we carried out a recent study before the local and European elections. We wanted to try and alert citizens to this and also the candidates in the elections. And we wanted to show what was happening in our local authorities and around Europe. There was the economic crisis. There were interventions in a number of European countries. Uh, but. Uh, despite this, we're seeing a real reduction of resources just in Greece and in Bulgaria, just those two countries. So I think it's a choice of our governments. They're choosing how to run society. I think it's very important for us, this lack of personnel, this lack of resources. We're still feeling the effects of this. and. The first people to suffer are the citizens. So putting in place these common actions, not just workers, but with all of uh, society, I think this will be one small step in overturning these policies and giving people hope again. Our visit here has showed us a number of things. We think that Greek workers should have the same rights as other workers in the rest of the EU. We haven't been deprived of everything. They try to take away our democratic rights to be in a trade union. There are certain uh, mechanisms they put in place to repress us. Uh, 
demonstrations, uh, strikes uh, are now problematic because the government will uh, declare them illegal. So they're really trying to take away all our possibilities to react to the situation. I think it's important that we uh, make European citizens aware of the uh, situation. We're not uh, lazy. We are part of the EU. So we want to get the same rights as uh, everybody else. We don't just want resolutions speaking of solidarity. We just want what is rightfully ours at the moment in Greece, in local administration, there is the threat of uh, job cuts. Uh, and uh, according to the Prime Minister, it seems uh, having work is a privilege. We seem to be coming back to a system that we had in the Middle Ages with salaries similar to what we see in China. So we really have to uh, wonder what our future will be and how we can change this situation. I'd like to thank uh, Sofia Sakurafa once again for her invitation. And I think she is going to help us in this common struggle that we have to try and overcome these policies uh, and in the rest of Europe. Thank you very much. I don't know if there are any questions. I, I apologize. I didn't say that uh, Madame Kuneva uh, was uh, here, and uh, it would be a great pleasure uh, for me if she were to accept to take the floor. Thank you very much. Well, given the very particular situation, given all the cuts we're going through, uh, a very special moment in time. Uh, the austerity policy which has been applied to the country is very uh, stringent, and this in turn makes life rather difficult in the country, uh, which in turn can lead to uh, a, an even uh, more serious crisis. I believe that the right to work Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've just lost the thread of my thought. Um, I started thinking of my own personal experience, which is rather traumatic, something that happened in Bulgaria when the crisis started. There were people who were working and weren't even being paid to to work at the time. So that is why I felt rather emotional when I took the floor there, um, because I too was concerned by this. Salaries were not paid for a year and a half, and when they were paid, they were just given um, a cassette recorder. They weren't given any money or anything like that. The situation was absolutely dreadful. And it was thanks to uh, our grandparents' retirement pensions that we managed to get by. I hope that this sort of situation will not continue and will not spread to other countries. Everything depends on us. You're active. You have a, quite a, a past in terms of uh, doing things and making people aware, and um, I hope that you will continue to be this active. I think you should continue to um, fight, because if you don't, this simply is not in the interest 
of neither of the government or, or indeed the country. There is to be a strike tomorrow. We will support that strike and we will be defending workers' rights. We must not uh, allow workers to be stripped of their right to work and they should be allowed to work in a dignified fashion. Thank you very much. Mr. Marias has also come today. Thank you. Could I just make one comment? This is a room called minus one. Sometimes you don't see the minus in front of the one and uh, you end up going to the wrong floor. In other words, the first floor instead of the minus uh, one, the uh, underground level. So that is why I was late. I apologize for that. Your struggle is a struggle which is against the Troika. And I believe that what is really important is that there be a clear social uh, united front against the memorandum so that we will be able to get out of this, this situation and uh, contend, therefore, uh, successfully with the government and with the Troika. I would like to thank you for having organized this event today. It's an important one. It's important to have events such as this in Strasbourg because just talking about matters amongst ourselves does not suffice. Uh, there is little point in just uh, talking in Greece about what has happened in Greece. It's good to come to Strasbourg when the plenary uh, is uh, convened because this means that it is possible to pass on information to Parliament. And I think that you have had occasion to inform other members and other trade unions of, of what we are doing. This is the only way our cause will be won in Greece. So I too would like to um, thank you for coming to Strasbourg. Uh, I, as a member of the European Parliament, along with my colleagues, are here to support your struggle because your struggle is ours. Thank you. Με εκφράζουν και με καλύπτουν όσα είπε χθε και σήμερα η Σοφία. Now, what was said yesterday and today by Sofia and uh, uh, Gabi is what I think I too would like to say that what tomorrow there's to be a general strike in Greece. All the uh, groups on the left are in favor of this and not just Syriza. I think that this is a, a historic occasion. Neoliberal, harsh policies were applied to us, but uh, today could be the beginning of a better future with the European dimension. I hope that the European workers and those who are unemployed in Europe will realize that the, the Greek workers, the Greek unemployed, have some experience. So we were guinea pigs in a way. And if we can um, help a positive movement develop, that will be very important. And that is why I believe that we have to shoulder our responsibility here. Would anybody else like to speak? Καλημέρα. Ο Γιάννης Πάου, Δημητρίου, από την Deutsche Welle. Μία ερώτηση θα ήθελα για τον κύριο Βαρασόπουλο. Thank you. If I may, I'd like to put a question to Mr. Βαρασόπουλος. I haven't been following too closely what's happening in Greece, but I understand that some airports, regional airports, were sold off yesterday, or they're going to be licensed out to others. Is that anything to do with your action? Have you reacted? Have you refused this kind of uh, takeover? The reply, we don't actually have anything to do with airports as such, but I can tell you that what's happened is not a, an isolated incident in our country. Everything is being sold off at knockdown prices, I can tell you. These airports uh, have been sold off to try and make a profit. Those who live on our islands, you know, the people, the local residents, are not really going to benefit from any of this. I mean, it's part of our trade union activity, 
and it's also an area of interest to us, of course, we have a major problem. We have a major problem in terms of uh, circulation of goods. We've seen this with waste, for instance. We've seen this with airports. And it's always the same thing. It's always the same big companies. They make a profit, and they basically dictate the political agenda of our country. Mrs. Sakurafa, anyone else wishing to speak in this debate? I don't know whether you want to add anything else. Mr. Balasopoulos, yes, I would like to say one thing which I, I think is important. Two years ago, we invited Syriza to present a program on regional and local civil servants local government and we have proposals for our regional authorities, our territorial authorities. It's fair to say that we don't necessarily do this very regularly but we wanted to take the opportunity to, to talk about uh, points that are of importance to us and I said to the president of Syriza that this was a golden opportunity, a, a unique opportunity and it was time for Greece to shed its uh, past heritage, to throw off the yoke. And everything that we've been talking about so far, you know, they're the defeats of the past. We need to move forward. We need to instill hope. And we need to bring victory to the people of Greece. We're a trade union. We represent all workers. But nobody can really trust the two parties that uh, took us into this situation led us to this. And as for the hopes of the Greek people, I think the hopes are now very much with Syriza. So what you need to do, and what other members of the European Parliament need to do, it's, well, it's an enormous piece of work. It's a gigantic task and a huge responsibility for you. But you need to shoulder that responsibility to make sure that the country doesn't fall into the hands of the extreme right. You need to fight that. And I wanted to thank you, thank the members of the European Parliament. Thank you for welcoming us as well. Thank you for making us feel welcome in this house. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Sakurafa, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone for attending. Thank you for coming. This is really important for us. And I can assure you that in Syriza, we know what our responsibilities are and what we need to do. As far as governance is concerned, the governance of our country, we know perfectly well that the Greek people gave us a responsibility when they elected us. We also know the role that is played and could be played by local and uh, regional administration. We need to make sure that they are on board, that they're involved, and we need to have a, an overall view so that things change in terms of local administration, local authorities, and uh, the way in which they operate. I'm afraid we have to stop at this. Uh, we don't have that much time. I'm sorry. Thank you.